In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between total power and power per phase and look at how those two different concepts um, relate to or tie into uh, our calculations. In power systems, loads are generally specified in terms of power. That power term may represent the real or average power, the power that's actually delivered out of the circuit. So that would be our average power P, as in a watts rating or horsepower. It may also be given in terms of its electrical demand, S, its complex, complex power. And in that case, the power would be specified in terms of volt amps. But in either case, when a three-phase load is specified, in power, when the three phase load is specified in power, the number typically represents the total power of all three phases. So if we're talking about a 15 horsepower motor, we're talking about all three phases combined generating 15 horsepower, whether it's in a delta connected load or a y connected load. But most of our calculations are done on a per phase basis. Therefore, it's necessary for us to take that total power and come up with a per phase power. We're going to call the per phase power P sub phi, or phi, that's the per phase power, that's equal to the total power divided by 3. So for example, if we had a 15 horsepower motor, each phase would produce, or yeah, produce, I guess is a good way of looking at it, would produce 5 horsepower. That 15 horsepower would be distributed across the three phases um, evenly. Similarly, if we're talking about complex power, the complex power per phase is just equal to the total power per phase divided by 3. Of course, all this applies whether we have a delta connected load or a y connected load. We just have to be careful about which voltages and currents we use. For example, we know that S, the total current, well, not S, <laughs> the complex power, we're going to be talking about the per phase value of it, but in general, S is equal to phasor V times phasor I conjugate. But which V and which I? We know that we have line voltages and phase voltages, which happen to be the same value in a delta connected load, and we have line currents, I sub little a, big A, and we have phase currents, I sub little, or a, I sub big A, big B, in a delta connected load. On the other hand, in a Y connected load, we have a phase voltage that's different than the line voltage. We have VAN, which is the voltage across the phase, and we have VAB, which is the volt VAB, which is the voltage between two lines. For completeness, let's just point out that the current through the phase is equal to the line current I sub A, little a, big A, in a uh, Y connected load. So here's the deal. That power, this <coughs> S equaling VI conjugate, is referring to the voltage that is actually across the phase. And the current is the current that is actually the current through the phase. So we've got to be careful which ones do we use. Let's take this case first of all, the delta connected situation. S in a delta is going to equal the voltage across the phase, which is VAB. The phase voltage and the line voltage are the same in a delta connected. So this would be VAB times the current through that phase, which, as we've already pointed out, would be I sub AB conjugate. So if you're working in terms of a delta connected load, you need to convert the line current, I sub little a big A, to the phase current before you do your power calculations. On the other hand, in a Y-connected load, the voltage across the phase is VAN, and the current through it is I sub little a, big A. So in a Y-connected load, S sub Y then, the per phase, in both these instances we're talking about the per phase values, would be VAN 
the phasor VA in, all these are phasors, times I sub little a big A conjugate. We've just got to be careful and not just assume that because we have something that's measured in volts that it is actually the phase voltage in either of these cases. Or we need to be careful that just because something is measured in amps, we need to be sure that it's the current through the phase before we do our calculations.